Hi, it's Dr. Elisha Van Dusen with New Hope Chiropractic again. And today I'd like to go over some healthy sleeping positions that are good for your back, good for your nervous system, and also help you to stay asleep longer and get better quality sleep as well and not wake up with a stiff neck or stiff back. So your most loved sleep, sleeping pose could actually be giving uh, you back and neck pain without even you knowing about it. Tummy troubles, even premature wrinkles. So the best positions to sleep uh, will, and also knowing which ones to avoid, will uh, give you the best quality sleep. So a good way to sleep is on your back. This prevents neck and back pain, and it does this by maintaining a neutral position for the head, neck, and spine. It also reduces acid reflux by keeping your head elevated above your stomach. And believe it or not, it can even minimize wrinkles as nothing pushes against your face. It's bad for snoring, and your perfect pillow should be a puffy one and keep your head and neck supported without propping your head up too much. So if you have a pillow that fits this bill, that'll really help you a lot. Uh, what's okay is sleeping on your side. It's not the perfect position, but it's definitely um, better, a lot better than some other positions that I'll go into later. Sleeping on your side is uh, bad for the face and breasts. Constant mushing the face from one side and also uh, can cause breasts to sag. That's one of the drawbacks. Um, it reduces snoring by elongating your spine and it also reduces acid reflux by keeping your head elevated above your stomach. And it's also useful during pregnancy because sleeping on the left side is ideal for blood flow. And again, when you're sleeping on your side, your pillow should be a thick one to fill the space above your shoulder so your head and neck are supported in a neutral position. What's really bad is sleeping in a fetal position. Um, if you are sleeping in your fetal position, you should try not to curve your neck and your back too much, but um, unfortunately sleeping in a fetal position will do that to you. It'll curve your neck and back uh, a lot more than it ideally should be. And it increases arthritic pain. Your knees are bent for a long time during the night, and it's also bad for your neck and spinal posture. It restricts diaphragmatic breathing and also leads to premature facial wrinkle, wrinkles because it puts too much stress on the face and the breasts. Uh, however, it is useful during pregnancy. Now, if you're sleeping in a fetal position, your pillow should be a thick one once again to fill the space above your shoulder so your head and neck are supported in a, a neutral position. What you really should avoid doing is sleeping on your stomach because it's difficult to maintain a neutral spine position. It puts pressure on the joints and the muscles, which can irritate nerves and lead to pain, numbness, and tingling. And constant incorrect head position while lying on your stomach, which is pretty much unavoidable in this position, may lead to aching. Uh, keep, it keeps the face down, keeps your upper airways um, closed, and also... Uh, if you snore and aren't suffering from neck and back pain, it's fine trying to sleep in your belly, but really you you should avoid sleeping in your belly at all costs. So once again, to recap, lying on your back is the best. Second, um, lying on your side. If you're pregnant, lying on your left side. And um, then sleeping on your stomach is a big no-no. So I hope this helps, and it's always good to get your spine checked from time to time. Uh, check for wear and tear and proper posture, and we're more than happy to do a complimentary consultation at New Hope Chiropractic to uh, see if chiropractic's a good fit for you. And remember, um, October is Spinal Health Care Month, so it's doubly good to get your spine checked and uh, make sure that your uh, spine and nervous system are working properly. Have a healthy day.